Hey kids, hope we all are helping our elders at home to keep it clean and tidy. Do you remember our new friends Neetu and Pintu? Come, let's see what they are doing. Neetu, I enjoyed seeing your house the other day. Would you like to see the place where my friends and I live? I would love to Pintu. Okay, come with me. Both of them move towards Pintu's house. Pintu takes her friend to her nest and introduces her friends to Neetu. They all are my friends. We live in a nest. We build our own nests using the twigs, leaves, etc. Just like you humans build different houses, we animals build different houses. Have a look at these houses. Do all animals build nests? Aha! Now my dear friend, different animals live in different houses. Look at these animals. They are kept in the farm by the humans and some at home as pets. So, humans build houses for them. Cow lives in shed. Hen lives in coop. Sheep lives in pen. Pig lives in stay. Horse lives in stable. Dog lives in kennel. Some animals build their own house just like we do. Spider builds a web. Rabbit builds a burrow. Rat builds a hole. Ant builds a anthill. Some animals choose open places as their homes. Just like frog lives in a pond. Monkey lives on a tree. Lion lives in a den. Fish lives in a pond. Wow! Such a beauty in nature. Hey Pintu, I'm hungry. Can you give me something to eat? Do you have roti at home? Haha! <laughs> we don't eat rotis like you. Our eating habits are different from yours. You mean like rice and curry, puri and many other? No need to. We don't cook food like you all do. Have a look at these animals. They are grass eating animals. And these are flesh eating animals. They hunt and eat other animals. And there are some animals which eat both plants and animals. These are our food habits. Come, I'll give you an apple to eat. Pintu, I got to know so much about animals. Thank you for bringing me here today. It's getting late. I'll see you soon, Pintu. Bye. By now, you might have become familiar with the food habits and homes of animals. But do you know our responsibility as a good human being? We should not harm animals and birds should be fed. Here is a fun activity of making a bird feeder. Shall we begin? For this activity, we will need some ice cream sticks, favorite colors, paintbrush, glue, thread and a sheet of paper. Color the ice cream sticks with your favorite color. Color at least 20 to 30 sticks like this. Allow it to dry completely. Paste it one on the other using glue like this. Continue pasting the sticks one on the other. Like this. 
Once you have stuck it, it looks like this. Now, tie the thread on all four sides like this. Once you have tied the thread on all the four sides, hold all the four threads and tie a knot at the tip. Like this. Your bird feeder is ready. Now put some food grains in it and tie it in your balcony or corridor to welcome the lovely birds. Don't forget to keep a bowl of water too. Welcoming the guests with a glass of water is a good habit. Have fun feeding birds. Enjoy being good. Bye.